mighty man in battle. El Shaddai, he was the mighty man in battle. Jehovah Yahweh, he was the mighty man in battle. El Shaddai, he was a mighty man in battle. Glory to your name. You are the mighty man in battle. El Shaddai, he was the mighty man in battle. Jehovah Yahweh, you are the mighty man in battle. El Shaddai, you are the mighty man in battle. Glory to your name. You want to wave up to him? You are the mighty.
promise me Come into your presence
without wasting time, I will call Living Praise to give us a song. Let's clap our hands for them. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. He's a faithful God. Hallelujah. Amen. I believe we have all come here with a purpose. Hallelujah. To seek his face. And David said, I was young and now I'm old. Never have I seen the righteous beg for bread. Because this God we serve is a faithful God. He's dependable. Hallelujah. Whatever need is on your heart this morning, know that if you believe in him and do not waver, whatever word he has said concerning you will come to pass. Amen. He's a faithful God. Hallelujah. Amen. can send on Christ the rock I stand from everlasting to everlasting his word remains the same unchanging God that is who you are Never faithful, never failing, unchanging God, that is who you are, ever faithful to me, unchanging God, that is who you are, ever faithful. God will never change He is my rock And though the ground is sinking sand On Christ the rock I stand From everlasting to everlasting Your word remains the same Oh, 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 you're faithful. 
cold till the end. Oh.
you want to lift up your voice and join in and give him glory this hour all of the glory belongs to you all of the glory belongs to you oh lord all of the glory belongs to receiving hallelujah yeah. we are going to receive from our papa i'm not going to do an introduction because he feels shy when i talk about him so i'm not going to talk about him hallelujah yeah. but we are going to sing our song and he's going to sneak into the altar hallelujah he says my wife don't do that i feel shy when you do that so i will save him amen, amen. by not doing that amen my tomorrow must be greater than Today. If you believe it, you sing with us. My tomorrow must be greater than today. His hands are not short. His hands are not short. That he cannot reach to you. His eyes are not blind. That he cannot see your tears. He hears all the death. That he cannot hear your cry. Your tomorrow must be greater than today. His hands are not short. His hands. Shot that he cannot reach to you. His eyes are not blind, that he cannot see your tears. His ears are not dead, that he cannot hear your cry. Your tomorrow must be greater than today. Your tomorrow. Yeah. 
Hallelujah. Amen. You may take your seat in his wonderful presence. Amen. Amen. God is good. And all the time, we thank God for today. Uh, it's good to be back. Uh, I miss you like Hamatan Popo. Uh, it's wonderful, wonderful feeling to be back. Hallelujah. God bless you all. My going to the Holy Land, it was not just pilgrimage, amen? But also for spiritual assignment. Amen. amen. It was not just that scene. Prayers, and we did all kinds of things, hallelujah. And I prayed for you. You remember Solomon when he built the temple, he said, anybody that comes to this place and pray, God, answer the person. Amen. So when I was at the place, lean on the wall, I remembered you. I say, I remembered you. I prayed for you. Hallelujah. Amen. So when something happens in your life, from now to the end of the year, remember, I remembered you in prayer. Amen. Before I bring the word of God, we have a baby to dedicate to the Lord. Oh, shall we rejoice in the presence of the Most High God? God has added another soul to the church. Amen. Oh, let's rejoice with a clap offering. Praise God. Hallelujah. Amen. Our deacon and the wife, they are fulfilling their prophetic word. So they are still in the process. They are not done yet. Hallelujah. Amen. So don't be surprised. A year by this time, we repeat what we are going to do. Hallelujah. Amen. Unto the Lord be the glory. It has always been my song on occasions like this. People pay so much for what you are having in your hands. God has given to you free of charge. We should never take it for granted. Unto the Lord be the glory for what he has done. You may come forward now. Greater things He will do
will all be glory, honor, and adoration. For what we are witnessing today, it is your doing, O oh Lord. Therefore, you alone are worthy to receive thanks. You alone are worthy to receive glory. You alone are worthy to receive honor. We rejoice with our thinking and the wife for what you have done and what you are doing in their lives. We know that greater things you are about to do, Lord, will bless you, Father. Amen. We thank you for what you have given to them free of charge, Lord. Amen. It has taken people years. It has taken some decades. But God, you have done this freely for them. They acknowledge the fact that, my God, this is your doing. They don't want to take it for granted. Amen. They are standing before you today. Like Mary and Joseph bringing Jesus, the Messiah, Amen. in the temple. In the obedience to your word, my God, as I dedicate this baby unto you, Lord, I pray that your presence, your blessings, Amen. will come down Amen. upon this child Amen. and upon this family. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Then were brought there unto him little children, that he should put his hands on them and pray. And the disciples rebuked them. But Jesus says, Suffer little children and forbid them not to come unto me. For of such is the kingdom of heaven. And he laid his hands on them and he departed. Hallelujah. And he laid his hands on them. Thank you, Lord Jesus. we close our eyes even as we commit this child to the hands of the almighty God father this is a solemn moment this is an act of obedience for parents to bring their little one before you to commit to your care lord I know that much as lord we acknowledge the father this is what children of God should do. We know the heavens are celebrating as well and Father you are happy about such obedience. I therefore stand before this congregation as I lay my hands on this child. Lord I pray over this child that whatever you have created it to become is exactly what will happen. No power of darkness no forces of darkness Amen. from her ancestry from the mother's house and father's house Amen. will never follow her Amen. she will never repeat the errors and the mistakes of her ancestry in the mighty name of Jesus Amen. I soak her in the blood of Jesus blood Christ of Jesus. and I seek divine exemption over her life from the errors of life Amen. in the mighty name of Jesus Amen. I pray the Father as I touch this child. Let your Holy Spirit enter into her. As she's growing, she will grow in wisdom and in stature. Amen. Sicknesses and diseases will never be her portion. Amen. Fill her heart with wisdom. Amen. I pray that my God, she will become the source of joy, Amen. happiness, blessings unto this family Amen. and unto the kingdom of God. Amen. I pray that no evil eye will look at this child in a wrong way. Amen. Father, I cast blindness Amen. upon every evil eye Amen. that will try to sight her and monitor Amen. her. In the mighty name of Jesus Amen. Christ. Lord, I pray that she will be a line crosser 
she will be a pathfinder. Amen. She will be a record breaker. Amen. Father, for your goodness and your mercy shall follow her. Amen. All the days of her life. Amen. I therefore now, Lord, I dedicate her to you, God the Father. Amen. God the Son. Amen. God the Holy Spirit. Amen. And the saints shall say, Amen. Father, we thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. So we have the word of God here. Deuteronomy chapter 6. Verse 7 says that we should teach the child. Make sure the word is in her heart. Hallelujah. All the days of her life, we need to train this child with the word of God. Hallelujah. Now, the name is Ebo Setale. Ebo Setale Virtue Rose Christine Oriabore. Ebo Setale. Ebo Setale. Ebo Setale. Meaning God. God's spoken word. Ebo Setale. Yeah, I've eaten some, I think, green pepper soup from you before, so I've made it. Hallelujah! Ebo Setale Virtue Rose Christine Oriabore. Amen! But there are seven more to come. Why would you give so many names to only this one? We give God the glory. Shall we put our hands together? Amen. 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 God bless you all. You may take your seat as they give their testimony if they have something to say. God bless you. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Yeah, we want to appreciate God for what he has done in our lives. The Bible said, blessed is the man who has his quiver full of them. We count ourselves privileged to be blessed with children. And this blessing is a special gift from God. Amen. I want to thank um, Pastor in the house, Pastor Tony and Mama, for all their support and all their prayers. Mama saw me some time ago and she was like, Oh, you, you think you are watching with? Before you realize it, another baby will come. And then I told her I reject it. And I ran away that day. So I didn't even know that month something had happened. <laughs> How it happened, I can't tell. This baby was a surprise. Took all of us on our ways. But in all, it was calm and sweet throughout. Amen. When it was time for the baby to come, the baby was delaying by human records. I came to church one of those days, and uh, Papa said, why are you still here? I thought you would be in the hospital with baby. And then they called me to the altar. Papa and Mama, they prayed for me. Papa said something that day. He said, this will be the sweetest experience ever. Amen. I said, amen. amen. The very next day, I went to the hospital. Within one hour, 30 minutes, this baby was out. So truly, it was the sweetest experience. I just thank God for everything. I want to thank you all for the calls, for the prayers, for the gifts. I appreciate this is a family where love exists. Amen. I cannot continue to mention names, but you are all in my heart. Amen. For your good wishes, for your prayers, for visits, for coming to buy lots of gifts, we say thank you. And for coming today to support us, we say thank you. For those of you who traveled from afar to come and support us as a family, we say God will bless you richly in Jesus' name. Amen. And for Papa and Mama, I say God will continue to bless you. Your anointing will continue to increase. 
you will never lack any good thing in Amen. Jesus' name. Amen. I can't just stop without mentioning Sister Stella and Auntie Mary and Mama Kua. You are all important to me. But these people are exceptional. Amen. I don't know what I would have done without you. For all your sacrifices, may God bless you. Amen. I don't want to take too much time. God will bless all of you. Amen. We really appreciate everything you have done for us. And we give God all the glory. My prayer to everyone is, whatever your heart desire is, God will bring it to pass in the name of Jesus. Amen. And please don't be in a hurry to go home. There is a lot. I mean a lot. We want you to rejoice with us and thank this God for every good thing he has done. May the Lord bless you all in Jesus' name. Amen. Okay, I'll sing this song. Amen. <laughs> He Jesus no je mundia ni menfo O se a mundia no ria o yete O se mundia is for us when God stands for you you cannot fall that is why we are not scared because we know that God is on our side yes. I also want to thank God I just want to use this opportunity to thank to say thank you to my husband or my husband he's been very supportive this weekend is our wedding anniversary and I look back I see where we are today from where we started I said thank you for your support for your love God will bless yes. you Amen. Amen. Shall we continue to clap for the Lord? Hallelujah. Amen. Awesome God. How great our you are God, mighty are your miracles, we stand in awe of your holy name. Lord, we bow and worship you. Just talk to God, Father, today I want you to minister to me. I don't want to leave your presence the same way I came. I want you to just 
Talk to me. Touch me. Just talk to God. See, you're coming here as a divine appointment. Not a ritual, but an appointment with the Lord. For whenever you have an encounter with him, your life, your life will bear witness. Something spectacular will happen. And today you want that to be a day of an encounter with the Lord. Heavenly Father, we give you praise, honor, and adoration, O oh Lord. Amen. I avail myself to you, Spirit of the living God. Amen. Honor the words that will proceed out of my mouth this day. Amen. Holy Spirit, give me the unction to function this day. Amen. It's not about me, but it's about you. Amen. Have your way in our midst. In the name that is above every name. The name Jesus. I have prayed. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Today I want to share with you about the spirit of Shiloh. You see, names are very, very important to the Lord. God doesn't take names, times, and places for a joke. Hallelujah. Amen. God takes them seriously. I have preached about names, the importance, the significance of names. Sometimes we think that it does not mean anything, but it is very, very important. God changed several people, their names, before he walked with them, before he blessed them. And even in the New Testament, Jesus also repeated the same thing. Praise God. Amen. So names are very, very crucial when it comes to naming children. They are very important. Hallelujah. Amen. But today, that is not the subject. I want to talk about why this temple was named after Shiloh. As I was praying and contemplating about how to name this place besides the name of the church, Shiloh, is the place that God laid on my heart. Amen. But God knew what he was going to do in this place. And therefore, I'm not surprised why the name Shiloh. Because we are all witnesses to what God is doing here. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So it was not by accident that the name came about. Hallelujah. Amen. There is a spirit that is connected with names. Names carry virtue. Names carry virtue. Hallelujah. Amen. So today I would like us to open our Bibles quickly to Joshua chapter 18. We want to learn something about Shiloh. So that when we have knowledge and understanding why this place is named as such, we come with all seriousness. Hallelujah. Amen. We are going to read from Joshua chapter 18 from verse 1 to 3. Now the whole congregation of the children of Israel assembled together at Shiloh and set up the tabernacle of meeting there. And the land was subdued before them. But there, but there remained among the children of Israel seven tribes which had not yet received their inheritance. Then Joshua said to the children of Israel, How long will you neglect to go and possess the land which the Lord God of your fathers has given you? Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. You see, it has been a burden on my heart since this ministry began. That when I see believers walking defeated, believers being beaten and battered by the enemy, 
Sometimes I ask myself, what is our testimony? If we share the gospel, if we want to witness to other people, and there is nothing about us in our lives that we can share, nothing that they can see that will attract us to them or that will incite something in them. They can compare our before and our after and I say that, Lord, I want to follow you because I want to worship your God. Then there is a problem. Hallelujah. Amen. It is a burden on my heart. I, I, I find it an error for believers' lives to remain the same when they become born again. That the very things that we were suffering, the struggles, the cares of life, the issues that stalk our lives when we were unbelievers, as we come to Christ and we are still suffering the same situations, going through the same problems, sicknesses and diseases, afflictions of all kinds, then I ask myself, even I as a child of God, where is our God? Praise God. Hallelujah. But you know what? We are serving a living God Amen. that is able to solve our problems. Amen. That is able to turn our lives around, situations around. Amen. And that God is here. Amen. It is very important that we should be conscious of the fact that as we come to Christ, our God that we serve is able to make us walk in victory. Amen. We can lead victorious lives. Amen. We can overcome circumstances instead of living under circumstances. Amen. God wants to stir jealousy in you and I that the world can look at us and say, wow. I want to serve your God. Amen. We need the knowledge and understanding and open up to this God so that he will be able to use us as a showcase to the world. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. This story that we just read, it's about the Israelites. Bible says, when Moses departed, Joshua, his assistant, was the one that took over according to the instructions of the Lord. And after the conquest, they came to a place. The Bible said they settled down, they put up the tabernacle of God. And they were there for approximately 369 years. They were comfortably resided in a place called Shiloh. At that point, according to scripture, Seven of the tribes out of 12 tribes still did not have their inheritance. Praise God. Hallelujah. At this time, they still had not possessed their possession. And when you go to Genesis chapter 15 and you read from verse 18 down, it talks about the fact that God had already given the land to them. Genesis chapter 15, when you read from verse 13 down to the end, we are not going to go into that, but I, I want you to understand that sometimes it is possible that God can ordain you to be a great person and yet you will struggle in life. If you don't know, have the knowledge of where God has positioned you, Sometimes, God may bless you all right, but yet, if you don't take advantage of what God has given or has deposited at your disposal, because you lack knowledge, you will still be a parasite. Hallelujah. Amen. For 369 years, the Bible says, these people were still living at Shiloh and they were comfortable 
When God has ordained that these people were supposed to possess their own land. Remember Ephraim, Manasseh, they had their place already on the other side of Jordan. And all these people, God has already said it. Told their grandfather Abraham that that place is already meant for you. Just go and take it. But until that time, they were still there. Comfortable. You see, it is so easy to accept the condition and the situation in which you find yourself. And think that that is it. This is how it's supposed to be. Praise God. Hallelujah. When you are supposed to become a landlord, own a land, own your own place. You were still patching with people. As long as your brother's wife is cooking and you are having something to eat, you don't even think about your own place to live. That is what happened to these people. As long as my brother will wear his shoe and pass on to me, if he gets a new one, I am okay. That's what happened to them. God had ordained that you have your own place. You have your own place. Hallelujah. Amen. As long as I can call my brother's children, my sister's children, my son, my daughter. So I don't even care about whether I should marry in the first place, let alone having children. No. Today, you will have to inherit your own inheritance. Amen. Because at Shiloh, something must happen. Amen. Amen. He says they were there. In fact, all the judges, 15 of them up to the time of Eli, all of them lived at Shiloh. Great event took place. Shiloh was the place that decision was made that enough is enough. Mm -hmm. Can we go to verse 2? But there remained among the children of Israel Seven tribes which had not yet received their inheritance. Seven tribes which had not. It was not like there was no land. There was land. But they were okay with their situation. Hallelujah. Amen. May the Lord open somebody's eyes. May God speak to you right now. Amen. For you to know that where you are is not your destination. Amen. You are in transit. Hallelujah. Amen. They had not yet received it. And verse 3, the leader said, no, enough is enough. Something must happen. You have stayed with me for far too long. You have lived with me for far too long. You have been in this condition for far too long. It is time for you to have your own place. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. You know, there are some people like that. Sometimes even your children. If you are not careful, <laughs> as long as mama cooks, they have food to eat all the time. You'll be surprised by 40, 45, they are still living in mama's house. And mama is still feeding them, feeding them. You know, they will continue to see themselves as such. It is good sometimes, but sometimes parents, it is not good. we got to teach them adulthood. There is time for everything. Hallelujah. Amen. Joshua said, no, 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 no. You people are becoming too complacent. You are becoming too comfortable here. It is time for you to explore your own land. Go and possess your land. Verse 3. Then Joshua said to the children of Israel, mm -hmm. How long will you neglect to go and possess the land which the Lord your God of your fathers has given you? How long? How slack? Are you for you to go and possess which your father will give to you no which your father has already given hallelujah amen it has already been given you go and possess it that is all amen hallelujah amen how slack are you how long will it take you? Praise God. Hallelujah. As I was reading this, I was asking, so what made them so comfortable to just stay there, relax, and leave the land fallow? 
Amen. 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 You see, sometimes we can come to that place in our lives. We become so comfortable with our condition. And we just accept it as it is. But there are times we need to say enough is enough. Praise God. Because this is not where God wanted them to be. God wanted them also to have their own place. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. How slack are you? Is it because they were afraid? Is it because they were too comfortable? Whatever they needed, they thought they had it. But today, I want you to look into yourself. Why are you where you are today? Is it because you are afraid to take that leap of faith? Regarding marriage, business, finances. Are you scared or you are comfortable? You think where you are, it is enough. Somebody must get angry today. Yeah. Praise God. Hallelujah. He said, no, enough is enough. You've got to move. So in verse 4, he asked them to take action. What the Bible says. Pick out from among you three men of yes. each tribe. And I will send them. They shall rise and go through the land. Survey it according to their inheritance and come back to me. Hallelujah. Amen. They should begin to do mapping, map it out. Look into yourself, look into your family. Hallelujah. Search within and know where you belong. Come out and let me know. All I need to do is to bless you. And whatever I say is going to come to pass. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Take that leap of faith. Take that action. Take that step. That is all it takes. Today somebody must rebel against the witches and the wizards of your family. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. <laughs> it says go and look. Give me details about the land. Come and tell me. And I will make sure that I distribute to you as it has been said. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Go to verse 8. Then the men arose to go away. Yes. And Joshua charged those who went to survey the land, mm -hmm. saying, Go, walk through the land, survey it, and come back to me, that I may cast lots for you here before the Lord in Shiloh. Walk through the land. Come back to me. I will cast lots before the Lord. And I will give you, as it has been ordained, to be given to you. Amen. That is divine positioning. Bible says, as the land was given to them, so has it been until today. Amen. When God himself gave to them, and it was blessed for them, it has remained theirs until today. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. They needed to take a step, walk through the land, as the Bible says, that was sure of the sore of your feet would touch. I will give unto you. They took that action. And Bible says, from that day, they possess their inheritance. Amen. Somebody you need to take a step. Amen. Somebody you need to make a decision. Amen. And it all happened at Shiloh. Amen. It happened at Shiloh. Today is going to happen to somebody. Amen. Somebody you will change position. Amen. Bible says they were in Shiloh and the land was subdued before them. Hallelujah. You will subdue that which must be subdued. Amen. I say you will subdue that which it must be Amen. subdued. At Shiloh, they were giving their possession. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Great things took place at Shiloh. 
Joshua asked them to wake up from their slumber. What made them comfortable? What made them relax? He said, it is time for you to take a step. Map out. Walk through the land and possess your possession. Shiloh is not just the place that we are talking about. Shiloh is a divine platform where destinies are established. Amen. That is why it, it, it is an error for you to be here, be part of this family, six months, one year, two years, and you don't have a testimony. No. It is an error. Hallelujah. Amen. It is a place where destinies are established. Amen. You can never be disinherited in this house. You cannot. The devil cannot disinherit you. No. What belongs to you must be yours. Amen. Your rightful position in life will be established. Amen. Ah. People came with shame. And now it's all glory around Amen. them. Amen. People came weeping and now it's all about joy Amen. and laughter. This is what Shiloh is Amen. all about. Hallelujah. If you read about Hannah's story, it was a hopeless situation. And it all happened at Shiloh. The Bible says he became fed up with what she was going through. Too much mockery. They were taunting her here and there. The Bible says she went into the temple. Eli, the priest, was sitting there. She thought that she was drunk. He said, no, I am so bad then. There was something on my heart. I am here just traveling here, making my request before God, Yahweh. Amen. And she blessed me, God. Grant that which you are asking for. Hallelujah. Amen. And Bible says as they departed, the Lord remembered Hannah. The Lord remembered her. May God remember somebody today. Amen. As I am speaking to you about the significance of Shiloh. Today the spirit of Shiloh will work for somebody. Amen. I say it will work for somebody. Amen. In the mighty name of Amen. Jesus Christ. God will position somebody today. Amen. Something unusual is going to come upon somebody today. I receive it. Hallelujah. Amen. Hmm. You see, you can be blessed all right, but I'm telling you, because we are living in a fallen world, where powers behind the scenes are always working against us. If you don't take care, you will still struggle even when God has blessed you. Amen? Amen. Hmm. When we look at 1 Kings chapter 19, verse 15 to 16, we read about a story. I will not go into details. The Bible says when Elijah was fed up with his ministry and he cried unto God, he said, I'm the only prophet left. God, kill me. Why would this woman run after me and all that? God said, go and anoint three people. A man called Hazel to become the king of Syria. Anoint Jehu to become the next king of Israel anoint Elisha to take your place as the next prophet. Bible says all of them were operating in their various ministry. Elisha became the next prophet when Elijah departed from the scene. Hazael became the next king of Syria. But there was this man who was also anointed the same day, the same oil, the same prophet, Jehu. She could not become the next king after Ahab. It took Jehu 14 solid years. Solid years. 
And Elisha said, enough is enough. Something must happen here. You remember Elisha, the Bible says he carried the double anointing of his master. You remember that? Yes. So it took Elisha's anointing. Elisha had to send one of his servants to go and look for him. Jehu, he said, no. This guy, we are all classmates. We were anointed the same day. I have become a prophet. I have prophet under me. Hezekiah, we were anointed by the same prophet. The same day, he has become the next king. What is happening to Jehu? Bible says when they went, they located him among the lower ranks in the army of Israel. You are just sitting among them. Somebody who has been anointed by the same prophet the same day. Look, being blessed by God, being a Christian is not enough. Oh. There are powers that are fighting us all the time. What happened? 14 years. 14 years, he couldn't become a king. Ahab died. His son came on the throne. Another person came, took the place of his son. Still, Jehu was serving in the army. What happened to him? Who was sitting on his anointing? Who was sitting on his promotion? Hallelujah. Amen. This is what is called anointed but limited. Church, we need to open our eyes. Joshua said, look, it is time for you not to be too satisfied with where you are. Jehu was just serving. He thought it was okay. He was getting some income to take care of his family. God said, you have been anointed to become the king of the entire Israel. Not just to serve in the lower rank. Today, somebody, you will take your rightful position. Amen. I said, you will take your rightful Amen. position. You, I, if I were you, I would become angry with where I am. If you are comfortable with it, you will stay there. How can you forever be single? No? It's an error. Married, six months, one year, two years, no child. <laughs> Something must happen. Amen. Business. It's just come to a standstill. You are not seeing any improvement. It's an error. Something must happen Amen. to set you apart among your colleagues. Today you will go home with something. Amen. Shiloh, ah, you must inherit your inheritance. Praise the Lord. Jehu had to be anointed again before she could conquer. He was the guy who killed that woman Jezebel and now became a king. Wow. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Today you are going to take something with you. Amen. I said today something must break. Hey. Anything that is limiting you ah, is going to be destroyed. Hey. You will take your rightful place Amen. in life. Hallelujah. Amen. If you are angry and you are not satisfied with where you are, something new will happen to Amen. you. Please believe this prophet of God. Amen. Second Chronicles 20, 20. The Bible says, <laughs> you believe in the Lord your God, you will be established. Yes. But when you believe in his prophet, you will prosper. Amen. When you believe in his prophet, you will prosper. prosper. One prayer I've always prayed, I say, God, honor the words of my lips. Amen. And God does. God does. Amen. So when I say something will happen to you, I'm not just talking. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I am not just talking. I said something will happen with you today. Hey. If you believe in the sender, believe in the one he has sent. Amen. So that you will prosper. Amen. God is doing amazing things in this ministry. I said, God is doing amazing things in this ministry. Amen. Because of the special grace he has bestowed Hallelujah. upon his servant. 
Hallelujah. Amen. Yesterday, somebody was speaking with mommy. And it's amazing testimony. In fact, in October, mama is 14 years, right? Yeah. I've been in this church. December will be two years. I just want to ignite your faith. Please, don't, don't, don't look at us, you know, the way sometimes, hallelujah. This is a gift to you. By his grace, it's not about us. But everybody is called with special grace. And that grace, you have to connect with it. Because every day is the day God operates. But those who connect with the grace are those who contact him that day. Amen. 14 years. He so said, I was <laughs> told about this ministry. But when I came, I was very suspicious. Because prophets have chopped our money, not eating the money. Chop the money. They spent over 38,000. Three in vitro miscarriages. One fallopian tube was gone. Completely gone. Even the one left, they could not find it. The one that was left, still they can't even locate it. They did scan and everything. When she came, hands were laid. Mama prayed with her, went again. Now they find the fallopian tube. Only one left. Mm -hmm. With two, she could. In fact, somebody could meet the husband and say, well, "Ask for your wife. Forget about uh, children. That woman is. You are a friend. You are telling your friend this about his wife. Mm -hmm. That's how mean people can be sometimes. But you see, until God writes you off." Until God gives up on you. Ah. Don't give up on yourself. Ah. Because he is still in the business of working miracles. Ah. December exactly will be two years when they came. All that mama said, just get involved in the church. Be active. Don't stay around. Be planted. When you are planted beside the living water, then the water begins to flow through. Hey. So that anything that is dead in your life begins to receive life. Yeah. Be planted. Don't hang around. Church, to God's glory. To God's glory. Mm. No medication. No doctor's intervention. Oh. No in vitro. Oh. It's about a month now. We showed the pictures and everything. Not one, but two boys. Amen! Two boys! Hey. Two. When somebody saw her at the shop, African market, he said, said, the person nearly collapsed. He said, ah, you people said I am barren, it can never happen. Mm. You are shocked I am this? Mm -hmm. You haven't seen anything yet. Yeah. It's not one. But two, hey. God was surprised. Amen. God will silence them. Amen. Don't give up on yourself. Hallelujah. There is special grace upon this ministry. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So when we speak, please accept it, receive it. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Things are happening right here. Miracles are happening. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. At Shiloh, you must possess your possession. Amen. At Shiloh, that is where you have your divine repositioning. Amen. That is where God positions you where you are supposed to be in life. Amen. Today I'm going to anoint some two groups of people. You see, I'm not satisfied. When, when, when I, you, you can't get married and you are not having children. It, 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 it just burdens me. Hallelujah. Three months ago, I was in Calgary. I was just ministering to them, the Holy Spirit, just pray for the ladies who are trusting God. And there was this lady I didn't know. He said, we have been trying, trying, trying. It was not working. And I laid hands. There were four of them. 
knelt down, anointed them, laid hands. And then she has come to tell mommy. She said she has taken it. Hey. It has happened. Hey. Just about two and a half, three months ago. Amen. It has happened. Things are happening right here. Amen. Things are happening in this ministry. Amen. Please believe in the Lord your God. And you will be established. And as you believe in his prophets. Yes. About three weeks ago, somebody came to me. In fact, I had actually forgotten about it. There was a very serious case that has to do with a professional license. It involved court and, you know, all the big institutions. It went beyond even the province. Serious case that can really, really get you completely out of practicing your profession. They came. I remember I was standing here. I look at the sermons and the paper and I said, it is canceled. Amen. I forgot about it. It took almost about a year. That thing went very far. I'm talking about big. It's a big one. Just about three weeks ago, they came and said, Pastor, exactly what you said. This is it. It is canceled. Amen. Amen. It is canceled. Amen. Church, God can do anything. And this is Shiloh temple. Hallelujah. You walk in here, yeah. something must happen to Amen. you. Amen. You walk in here, something must happen to Amen. you. Now, in Genesis chapter 49 verse 10, let's read that quickly before I anoint you. C can you give me some 10 minutes? Because I, I need to put this oil on you. Hallelujah. Yes, I say, God, I'm leaning on this wall praying. One thing that I want to do, as I go back, as I lay hands, this hands, on people, grant their heart desire. Amen. So I want to do that. There was something about Shiloh. What does the Bible say? The scepter shall not depart from Judah, mm -hmm. nor a lord giver from between his feet, until Shiloh comes, and to him shall be the obedience of the people. Hallelujah. Amen. So do you know who the Bible is talking about? Until Shiloh comes, the scepter shall not depart from Judah. It means the priesthood shall not depart from Judah. Until Shiloh comes, until Jesus Christ comes, it is only the priesthood, only the line of Judah will reign. So he was talking about Jesus Christ. Isaiah chapter 9 verse 6, what does the scripture say? For unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given. Yes. And the government will be upon his shoulder. Mm -hmm. And his name will be called Wonderful, Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Now, compare the two scriptures. Use your translation. You will understand unto Shiloh come. He's referring to Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. You see, at Shiloh, that is where destinies are established. Amen. That is where Bible says, and God gave them rest. No wonder when he came, in Matthew chapter 11, verse 28, he said, come unto me, all ye that are heavy laden. And I will do what? Give you rest. And I will do what? Give you rest. Today, God will give somebody's rest. Amen. God will give somebody's rest. Amen. Rest from your finances. Rest from that chronic sickness. Amen. I said God will give somebody marital rest. Amen. God will give somebody rest today. Amen. Whatever you have been struggling all your life today. Amen. Jesus is here. Amen. Shiloh is Amen. here. At Shiloh temple. His presence is here. Amen. He said come unto me. All ye that labor. And are heavy laden. Amen. What is it that you have been laboring for? What is it that is making you weep, making you cry? He said, Come unto me, and I will give you rest. Amen. Today, you are taking that rest. I say, You are taking that rest. Amen. <laughs> I said, Today, you are taking that rest. Amen. You see, don't, don't, don't think about what people have said. Don't judge yourself upon your own ability and the ability of men. No. Think about his ability. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. 
You see, last week when I was at Shiloh and I was watching and looking at the, the movie and some of the things that happened, we were, you know, in Israel, some of the places they will tell you that this is the area, but we are not sure exactly where the thing took place. But we know that this is the area. But there are places that they can tell you with all the evidence that this is exactly the place where it took place. And one of the places was Shiloh. Hallelujah. Amen. Exactly where the temple was. The ark where it was situated. And everything. And I knelt down when I prayed. I talked to God. I said, whatever took place. Every miracle, good things that took place. God, it is not by accident that you asked me to name this place Shiloh. Let everybody who walks in here. Have a story to tell. Amen. Have a story Amen. to tell. And today, it is coming on you. Lord, I bless this oil. Fertility oil. And prosperity oil. Amen. And I pray the Lord. Holy Spirit. The oil. Represent you. Infuse your power and unction. Upon this oil. That as many as will be anointed. Let that unction come upon them. Let that strength come upon them. Let that faith come upon them. Amen. And let them possess their possessions. Lord, whoever has been disinherited by the powers and the forces of darkness, today, let them possess their inheritance. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Lord, as the oil touches your people, reposition them Amen. where they are supposed to be Amen. in the mighty name of Jesus Amen. hallelujah Amen. thank you Jesus please if you are trusting God for a baby you come on this side the rest just line up here I'm going to anoint you can you come thank you Jesus Ashakaborobo. Thank you, Jesus. Father, we agree on this. Lord, as I anoint your daughters today. You have blessed your daughter with the fruit of the womb. Let that same virtue be transferred unto any woman that will be anointed today for the fruit of the womb. That my God, what you bless her with will be transferred unto them. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, any womb that is considered dead, Lord, life will surge into it. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Lord, we believe in your report that there shall be no barren among your congregation. And I declare it to be so as this point of contact is established on them. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Mama, you give to them, let them go in there and then just apply it. Yes. This is prosperity. And this is not just financial. If you are doing business, whatever your hands should touch must be blessed. It must prosper. There are some people, when their hands touch something, it dies. But today, change has come. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. By this oil, I anoint you. Go and prosper in that which God has given to you. You will prosper in the mighty name of Jesus. You will prosper in what God has committed to your hands. Some of you will receive business ideas. Some of you, God will enthrone you in life. In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. 
You are receiving favor. You are receiving favor. You are receiving favor. You are receiving favor. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Favor. Favor of God. Favor. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. something I saw about this man I told my wife I have been holding it for some time but I, I just feel that I need to let her know God revealed to me it's about five weeks now. so much blessings so much blessings so much blessings But there was something that you must do. It, it, it was like a conduit. As soon as that thing was released from your hands onto me, then the blessing just started flowing. I woke up and I told her, it's been some time now. But as you are going back, the Holy Spirit, I have to say what I have to say. Something is on the way coming. I remember we came to your office to pray, your practice. Mama prophesied that you are going to have three branches. That thing was not ordinary word. It was a prophetic word. It must come to pass. Bless you. Bless you. Look forward to it. And as God touches your heart, whatever God wants you to do, do it. And once you do that, you will be surprised what God will do. God bless you. Congratulations. Congratulations. There is another family here. God has revealed something about them. <laughs> Strange things are going to happen. 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 Yes. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. The favor of God. Please, the adult first, okay? Adult first. The oil is not much. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. God is repositioning you to your rightful place in life. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. You are receiving favor. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. The Holy Spirit is saying, God is adding flavor to your life. When flavor comes upon you, you attract favor everywhere. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Yes. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Power of God. Sent through him from the crown of his head to the source of his feet. I declare upon you total deliverance and healing upon your life. In Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. 
upon this ministry is the special protection of God. You were back home and you were driving armed robbery they came with their guns and everything started robbing people but they did it two vehicles ahead of you. They can never come near you. Amen. Only with your eyes you will see it will not come near you. God said I should touch you, and I did that from yesterday. As this hands has been laid upon you, woman, your fruitfulness has been restored. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. And for those of you who have lost dear ones, my prayers are with you. May the Lord strengthen you. May you be encouraged in the Lord. It is not easy to lose a dear one. But one thing that I will tell you, as long as you are under this grace, you are not ready to go yet. I say you are not ready to go yet. You will not be the first that I will have to bury. I have told God always, 90 years minimum. Hallelujah. Amen. You are not going anywhere. We are here together. Amen. As this oil has come upon you, I want you to believe something. That God has added flavor to your life. Amen. And with this flavor, you are going to attract favor. Amen. In Psalm 5 verse 12, Psalm 5 verse 12, Psalm 5 verse 12. Please, let this be your prayer throughout the end of this year. Let this be your prayer. Psalm 5 verse 12. For you, O Lord, we bless the righteous. You, O Lord, you bless the righteous. With favor, you will surround him as sweet as a shield. With favor, God will surround you as with a shield. God will surround you with his favor. When God favors you, who can disfavor you? When God promotes you, who can demote you? When God lifts you, who can bring you down? Because your positioning is by God and no man can bring you down. Let this be your scripture for the rest of the year. That you, God, you bless the righteous. Who is the righteous? It is you standing here. It is you, my brother, my sister. You bless the righteous. So God, bless me. Bless me. Bless the work of my hands. Bless me with long life. Bless me with good health. Bless me with prosperity. 
bless me with peace in my marriage. And then he says, with favor you encircle. So it means that wherever you go, favor. Everywhere you go, where they refuse others, you, they accept you. I want to submit to you, whether you like it or not, you can hide in a hole. Favor will chase you there. Yes. Amen. Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you for the privilege of serving these people and for the grace bestowed upon me that you honor the words that I speak. Lord, I've spoken into their lives that God, even though the enemy might have done everything to disinherit them, but today restoration has come. Today they have possessed their possession. Amen. Today you have given them their inheritance. Amen. Their rightful place in life. Amen. Any area of their life that they have struggled all these years. Amen. Today rest has come. Amen. Today rest has come. Amen. Today rest has come. Amen. Jesus you said they should come unto you. After all the struggles, because weeping may endure only for a night, but joy comes in the morning. Today is somebody's day of joy. Today is somebody's day of happiness. Your word says that though you may suffer for a while, Lord, your people have suffered beyond a while. And it is against scripture. A while should not go this far. Therefore, today I declare the expiring date of the struggles of your people. Today is an expiring date of the struggles of your people. It is time for your people to celebrate. Time for your people to take their rightful place. Therefore, I speak over them that everybody take your rightful place. Everybody take your rightful place. Possess your possessions in the mighty name of Jesus. From this day forward, God will turn something around in your life. By 31st of this year, Jesus. You will not just be listening to testimony, but you'll be a testifier. Mm -hmm. I say you will testify to the glory of God. Mm -hmm. As you have agreed, so shall it be unto you. Mm -hmm. If you say amen to wait, it shall be established in your life. I say if you say amen, it shall be established in your life. For the last time, if you say amen, it shall be established in your life. God bless you all. God bless you all. Amen. May the Lord bless you. Amen. May the Lord cause his face to shine upon you. Amen. May he bless your going out. Amen. May he bless your coming in. Amen. May he bless everything that concerns you. Amen. May he bless the work of your hands. Amen. May he bless your water. Amen. May he bless your bread. Amen. Even now and evermore. Amen. Goodness and mercy will follow you Amen. all the days of your life. Amen. People will see you Amen. and they will say of a truth, Amen. God has visited you. Amen. Through you, the Lord will stir up jealousy Amen. in your family, Amen. at your workplace, Amen. in your community. Amen. God will stir jealousy. Amen. People will see you and they will begin to envy because of what God is about to do in your life. May the Lord give you a reason to rejoice. May the Lord give you a reason to celebrate. May the Lord give you a reason to stand before his congregation and testify of his goodness. Lord, as I have spoken, watch over the words of your servant and bring it to pass in the lives of your people. In the name that is above every name, Yeshua HaMashiach, have I prayed. And the saints shall say, God bless you, God bless you, God bless you. Amen. Service is over. God bless you. We'll see you tomorrow night. Amen. As you are going, shake hands with somebody.